And greetings, ladies and gentlemen players. It's another wonderful Friday in this March of 2024, making it a wonderful day for basics. And I'm over here on a freshly risen three dawn account. My good old no reader over here. See, fresh, fresh little three dawn account. And I want to do a little set on three dawn. Three dawn is the maximum rank that someone can create. So it seems like some people have it as a uh, goal of sorts. Can I rise out of the highest rank that you can create? Because maybe you are three dawn, you want to go to four dawn. Maybe you got your eyes set on five or six dawn or whatever, but the first step is always to get out of three dawn. So how are we going to get out of three dawn? Well, the answer is you might guess is with some nice, simple, easy moves that even work against Dawn players. So hope to do a lovely little set here this month, and I hope you also enjoy it. Let's get our first game. Start to play. All right, got ourselves a game here against someone who is 10 and 10. Let's start with a nice simple enclosure opening. Uh, next game, I'll try to do an enclosure this way, maybe then do a framework. So we cover a variety of different openings within the set. This, as you know, you don't have to answer. If you want to, that's fine. If you don't want to, it's not sente, so you're great. This is a bit interesting. We're going to force him into a little bit of a shape, or he's going to force me into attacking him. That is okay. If you wanted to split or approach, either of those are completely all right to do. Here, he can't push and cut me, so I'm not going to allow him to do that. He pushes and cuts, we drop down and he dies. Now here, something a bit interesting, I'm going to defend in Sente. In my uh, opinion, part of the big difference between, uh, for Atari, between Q players and Don players is defending yourself Incente. Here, his cut point's already defended, so I'm not going to go after it. We're just going to go and possibly surround him in a minute. Or we'll turn. I'm, I'm okay with either. Not letting him high ahead of two and three and destroy my position. This corner's not secured yet either. He should be defending these at some point. Or he won't be. Okay, then. Now we get to talk about attacking a weak group. Well, how to attack a weak group? Well, gosh darn it, that's, that is definitely difficult to do. Uh, the first step is either decide to attack for profit or we attacking to kill it. A profit attack is like maybe here or here or here. Killing attack, we're flat out capping this thing and trying to murder it. Now, I don't recommend doing the attacking for killing. That's really friggin' tough to do. So I'm just going to take one, two, three, four, five lines of territory, and I'm going to call it a day. This isn't alive as is, so I'm okay with everything going on here. We can Hane because the push and cut should not kill us. We could probably double Hane, but let's not get too crazy with it. Don't want to be surrounded. This one move is very, very nice. Hane at two and three. We keep responding. This turn here is also a huge grow. Huge grow. So as you can see, he's probably alive here. But we've made tremendous strides getting stuff in the middle of the board. All right. Going to turn. It prevents this from growing any further and then threatens to grow my own thing. I am not afraid of whatever he's doing here because I know my I've been protecting my cutting points and I haven't made bad shape. Obviously, we're not going to Atari. Thank you very much. Um, I'll just connect solidly. We've got three liberties to two, so we're always fine. 
same thing. Three liberties to two, we're always fine. Nothing you can do about it. It's just a, it's just a math problem. Now, I know some of you have been saying, oh, but I don't like math. It's fine. I get it. I didn't either for reasons that I'm not going to talk about on YouTube. <laughs> I've mentioned it on Twitch a few times. All right. We're just taking shape points away. That's literally all we're doing. All we're doing. Are we going after this for killing? No, not really. I'll just defend my shape. Um, I mean, yeah, no, okay. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. The clamp here were. Oh, he defended against the clamp. Huh, interesting. Well, continuing on. That is Sentai. Ba -da -da. Okay, now we go for a full surround. His profit is only that little upper left-hand corner. It's not very big. Or we can keep trying to kill him. But we're not really trying to kill him. Really, all we're trying to do is profit. This bottom area is completely open. Let's go for profit here. That's all I'm doing. I don't know about you. I'm just going for profit. Don't want that stone cut off. Um, all right. Let's begin putting our profit together. Just like so. I'm recording, aren't I? I am. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know. Uh, so you can go ahead and play here or just go straight up into here. It's whatever. Here I'm obviously going to go and make the wall. Do some Hane stuff. He's getting a little bit weird, but that's okay. Again, fixing the cutting points. I'm always being very careful about my cutting points. This is completely fine. He can't get beyond two liberties. He can Atari and Atari, but again, can't get beyond two liberties, so it's fine. Okay, that is A all fine with me. Was that a sentence? A all fine? Sure, why not? Um, so he's just accidentally killed one of his groups. Do you see why? Do you see how he's accidentally done that? I'm going to have my cutting points, by the way. But yeah, do you see how he's accomplished that? If you're looking at this and you're saying, because this now works, you are correct. This right now does absolutely work. I play here, he pushes, I block, he ataris, I atari. He's dead. Ooh, he defended it. Nice. He's paying attention. Good, 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 good. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Very tempting to be greedy here and start doing things that you know you shouldn't. But he didn't fall for it. This is a simple defense. Uh, it's a force move. If you just want to play here, you could do that too. It's whatever. Um, are you trying to kill me? Because that's kind of rude. Especially if it works, and <laughs> that's incredibly rude. Um... I mean, that should be fine, right? Because you didn't answer my move, and my move was something that you had to answer. That's always, like, a really, really important thing to take note of. Like, you had to answer my move. You didn't answer my move. So, what's going on here? Did you not? I don't think he realized why he had to answer my move. I don't think he understood. He didn't understand. So I can play here, and then I can just cut him, and then he's dead. I, I don't know any way around that. I mean, that, that's just what, how, that, how that works. I threatened to cut him, he ignored me, and now he's cut. <sighs> I just was talking about this with uh, one of my DDK students. Nine. Actually, I think Eight. they might be SDK Seven. now. Anyway, Six. um, Five. hold. Four. Three. Two. One. 
I'll let you out of this. If you connect here, we're friends. Uh, but yeah, they play a move, and then they're having trouble following up that move, you know? Like, they, they threaten something, their opponent's like, I'm not answering it. And then they don't do the follow-up. And I think that's what's uh, really holding them back right now. Because, yeah, your opponent's always going to, like, try to pretend that, you know, the moves don't mean anything. And then, yeah, you got to follow up. Not always, admittedly. Sometimes them ignoring you is going to be worth a move down the line. You don't always have to follow it up. Because they will give you Sente eventually. In this case, yeah, I, I threatened them, they ignored me, and now they're dead in the corner. Uh, unfortunate, but that's just the way that is. Um... Take a threat, little, little, little threat here. Threatens to cut through, obviously. Once again, if they play something weird, I'm going to follow up and kill them. And then now I'll just, uh, we'll, we'll just chill. We're not trying to kill anything. We weren't even trying to kill the upper right. Just going to take my profit. Until he does that. Okay. Well, let's see what he wants to do here. Let's find out. What are we doing, sir? Do tell, do tell, do tell. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Well, don't want you getting a bunch of free moves in the corner, obviously, so we're not going to do that. Like, I play here, and then he Ataris me, and he gets, like, free moves. Like, no, no. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We ain't doing that. Um... I don't know. Now, what if he does live here? You're probably asking yourself. Well, it really wouldn't matter, would it? If he actually lived here? Because this is really huge. The, the death there is pretty good. Got a nice chunk of territory here. And we can reduce this area just to uh, this corner. So, like, really, would it matter? And I, I don't think, I, don't, I really don't think it would. Here he can play this one. And now we can play here to kill. That's just how that works. For now, though. For now, though, let's uh, just do some reduction on the outside. Because he could have tried to make all this territory, right? One, two, three, four, five lines. Ooh. It's uh, quite a bit of territory. So he just lost like 15 points by trying to live in here. Corner can't possibly be worth much more than 14 points, right? By the way, this is still dead. Bop, 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 bop. Atari cut through. I don't think I'm going to kill it. I'm giving it consideration be honest, but I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, okay, now it's dead. Um, Let's just showcase this uh, co here real quick. Then he turns. Now we have like here or here is fine. That's why we were fine with just defending. Okie dokie. Um, that's a pretty big co threat, right? Just take another however many points here. Don't want you doing that. Thank you very much. All right. Um, I hate to do it. I really do, but we're, there's something we're going to do. And you all know what it is. If I played here into here, Nine, he'd die. Eight, this seven, group is dead. Six, five, four, three, oh, that's fascinating. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to play here. 
That's fascinating. Yeah, here, here, into here. If he plays there, he will do that. I go here, into here, into here, and he tried to defend here first. There's a cutting point, so pushing to there would be sente, then you can drop down. And at that point, he would need another I somewhere in here. Oof. So here you can see in slow motion why he's dead. Atari. He can't take, as we will take. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. And then we just go ahead and play here. Which at best would be another co at this point. I lied. You can play here instead and double it. Sorry, you play this. You don't Atari, you just throw in. Because if you throw in, he connects. That's double Atari right there. Yeah, that could be good. So, uh, that's going to hurt a lot. Sorry. Okay. He can he can prevent me from killing him anytime he feels like. Just leave just give me the corner back and he can save himself over here. Very aggressive three down though. Wise choice. Very aggressive three down. He came out uh swinging right from the start. These stones are dead. Uh, your groups here and here, you'll notice you're completely alive, so you're fine. So all you have to do is prevent him from connecting, because he's never going to be able to get two eyes here, threatening groups that are already alive. Does that make sense? Okay. I connected solidly to reach liberty here. That way, when he pushes like that, I've got the Atari. Gonna take away his threat to two eyes. Double Atari connects. Again, he can play whatever he wants. It does not matter. Fundamentally, he's gonna have to respond to this, or he could not. That is okay. That that's fine too. That is that is fine too. We'll just go ahead and double Atari him, right? Why not? So that didn't really require reading. It was just confidence that my shapes are fine. My groups are okay. Therefore, I should not be having any kind of weird issues here. Does that make sense? And then here, I don't want to have to like get into capture A, so let's go ahead and disconnect him. Or we could just go ahead and play the eye here. It really wouldn't matter. It looks like that's me I now know. There. Let's go ahead and live this way. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know. Connect here to make sure I'm not disconnected. Now, here's where I have to be very, very careful. Or not. Or not. Because, yeah, this group is dead. I kind of want to show it. Just because it's an interesting problem. So let's go ahead and do it. Because, like, we, we all know right now that I, I'm ahead by a bunch of territory, right? Because th this area is dead, this area is dead, the coroner's dead. So he shouldn't be continuing to play anyway. So let's go ahead and take this group off the board, too. So we can play here. Into here. That's now falsified. There's nothing he can do here anymore. So from here... Should be fine. And now if he plays here, he's got something. So we're playing here so he does not. Okay. 
Sorry. So you can see that's all dead. So now we are happily ahead by 112 points. That's pretty significant. Let's go and cut to review. Because this is... Okay, yeah, there we go. He, he resigned. Good. So let's talk about how we got to the point where he's down by 112 points. Because that is pretty significant. Well, it started out with him playing an unusual move. So we split it. Again, you can play here. Then if he does this, this is completely A-OK. -okay, because he owes you a move still. Right? He owes you a move to make sure that this isn't going to be uh, disrupted. If he plays anything else, well, this isn't, sent this isn't territory yet. You can just go ahead and fire off some moves back here, and you're fine. Now he's only got like this, and the enclosure. This is still weak. So no problem. Nothing's being done right now. Uh, then he tried to attack me. But the attack turned against him immediately because he had a weak group still. I didn't create any weird cutting points. If you want to try to actually kill, you probably could. If you just take a big move here, it's probably good too. There's no one move here. And the AI probably thinks that was really, really slow. So again, we're not creating, creating any weird cutting points. When we get Sente, we just follow up. And from here, it seems really tough for him to win. Simply because he was under attack and made nothing here, and I'm profiting. And then he's trying to fight, he's under attack again here, and I'm again profiting. So he's only made this territory. And as long as I don't do anything crazy, should be fine. Like right now, can we kill him? Yes. Yeah, clearly we could kill him at this point. Right? Sure. Absolutely. N not even a question. Do we have to? No. Absolutely not. Not even a question. Same thing here. This area is stupidly big. Don't have to be jealous of the left-hand side. So we just weather whatever he's doing uh, here. Make sure we're nice and solid. We're nice and connected. This got a little bit sketchy. If you wanted to just go ahead and play here, that'd be fine too, because there were two ways what he was doing didn't work. This is the other one, because um, he could play this one, but he's dead there. He can do this, but he's but that's fine. So whichever way you want to do it, it's, it's whatever. I did it this way instead, which yeah, I probably hated. But it's fine, works. Make some extra territory, just take the profits. Don't even worry if he's alive, just keep reducing. Because I need more territory than him, right? That's all I need. And since I have the right and the middle here and the bottom middle here, I know it's a lot of points. It's way more than one corner, two corner, right? Do I have more than three, six, nine, twelve, and then one, two, three, four, five, fifteen and change? Yeah, I do. Clearly, clearly I do. Look at the estimator right now. We're ahead by about 25 to 30, depending on what happens. And that's without killing the bottom right-hand corner. So there's no reason to get all crazy. Now, this was just fun. And here... Yeah, that's just dead. Yeah, Mill's dead. So, once again, we're up by, like, 73. So, however you wanted to play the game, it was up to you. Look forward to showing you more of these games at uh, the 3 non level. Hope you guys enjoy and learn something about big moves and shape, when to create cutting points, when not to create cutting points, all that good stuff. And as always, I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.